Okay, 2000 F-150 XLT, 5.4 liter V8. Check engine light came on. Got my code scanner here checking out some stuff. Misfire monitor, okay. Evap system monitor incomplete. So that is questionable. Evap system monitor incomplete. Everything else looks okay. So go back to the main menu and see what error code I get. Read codes. Bam. Code PO401. Exhaust gas recirculation flow insufficient detected. The EGR. So could be the EGR valve going bad or it could be uh, the um, insufficient flow from gunked up. So it may just need to be cleaned. So I'm going to check that out and uh, see what's happening. So looking under the hood, I'm going to take this cover off, and I believe this is a 8 millimeter. And then over here on the side, you got two 10 millimeters. I'm going to take those off, take this off. All right, so what we want to do is we want to check, this is your EGR valve, and I took this off, but I'm going to put that back on, but we want to check your ports that are running to the throttle body, because they're probably gummed up, gunked up. So we're going to take, we're going to have to remove all these lines to take this throttle body off and disconnect it. So um, probably a good idea to take some pictures of the different lines and, and uh, cables and hoses that you got connected so that you can uh, look back when you go to put it back together for a quick reference. Um, but we're going to take this throttle body off so we can uh, check the ports that are uh, running from the EGR. They're probably gunked up. Okay, so I've disconnected the EGR, um, disconnected a few other things. I've got four bolts uh, that I'll have to disconnect on this throttle body. I think there's four of them to uh, take that from the intake plenum. So I'm going to remove those bolts now. You got one, two, three, four. There might be five, but I think there's four of them. So I'm going to take those off now. And then I got a couple hoses back there. I'm going to have to disconnect. Uh, disconnect, disconnect that throttle cable. And maybe another item or two on that side, and I should be able to pull that off. Okay, so I got the throttle body off, and this is where the EGR valve connects. And it goes down in through here. And then you can see, if you look in here, light up like that right. But it's pretty pretty gung gumped up. And there's two ports. And you can see where this port goes this way. These ports are probably gunked up. It looks like it's gunked up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this bad boy down with some brake cleaner and clean it all up. This is my daughter, Addie. She's uh, giving me a hand with this. So I'm just gonna spray this thing up and uh, clean it out. Addie, you wanna hold that? I'm going to stand back so your phone doesn't get sprayed. Okay. Ernie, what's all of that stuff? That's all the carbon and stuff inside there that's cleaning up. And you can see it's starting to clear up in there. Truck's about 18 years old, so it's got quite a bit of build up.
For some reason, that smells really good. It smells really good? Yeah. <laughs> but you can see how it's starting to clean up in there. So we're just cleaning that up. And that uh, insufficient flow is just probably from everything being gunked up. So we're just clearing it out now. So I'm going to clean this up real good. And uh, we should be good to go. Otherwise, it may be the EGR valve. Yeah. Okay, so you can see all this crap that I'm getting. She's having fun getting dirty here. But through this port that the EGR valve connects to, it's a lot of gunk in there. So I'm going to have to probably take a pipe cleaner or something try to clean that out with this uh, brake cleaner. <laughs> All right, watch out, Eddie. I'm going to spray this stuff. So I'm going to spray some more. Get this stuff cleaned up real good so that I can uh, make sure this is a uh, nice clean flow here. All right, so I got it cleaned out pretty good. I'm gonna lighting really ain't really helping me, man. But I got it cleaned out pretty good. So I'm gonna put everything back together and see what I get. Take it for a test spin, clear the code, and uh, see what we're looking like. All right, now we got everything put back together. I'll go ahead and hook the uh, scan tool up, clear the code, take it for a test drive, and see how we're looking. Alright, so I took it for a test drive. Check engine light has not come on. Seems to be running okay. So I think cleaning those ports out definitely uh, helped that insufficient flow. So hopefully this helps somebody.